Hello YouTube and welcome to this video. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can import a world into MC Server Soft. And the first thing is that you want to have a world you can choose and you want to have the MC Server Soft program running. So you can uh, do the Windows button, the one uh, in between Control and Alt at the same time with R and you get this little run menu and you type in app data uh, percentage, app data percentage and then you do OK and you do dot Minecraft and then you go down to saves and then you find the world that you wanna use so I am gonna go with this one. I'm just gonna copy it, and uh, then you wanna go over to your uh, MC Server Soft. And then under Workspace, and you uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna have a server created. So for example, I have uh, created a test server here. So you wanna go under Workspace, and then Servers, and then Test, and then just put the paste it in and you want to go down under server properties if you don't want to change the name so I'm just gonna uh, quickly copy the exact because it needs to be exact be the same and then you go and edit the server to properties so under where it says level name so level dash name for example here or this is the one um so you want to change this from world to whatever your world is so lobby pre-made and then you just want to close out, out of all that and just then just press start and it is just like gonna run through all the thing and it's gonna set up a new spawn area which is like it's totally fine it's just gonna like load in the world is what it's trying to say so it like has it cached in and yeah preferring spawn array and when that is done we yeah it's done now and we can go into multiplayer and then I'm just gonna direct connect it so it's like on my local network and as you can see it's a new world and uh, I can just change it back so you know that it's working. So by uh, closing the server on, on the dashboard and then just stopping it and under workspace again, servers, test and then go under the properties and then I'm just going to change it back to world. you can see what it looks like look, looked like before so it means that you can actually have multiple worlds in here you can just go in and change it so you only have one server it's practical if you want to like just use different worlds with the same plugins and stuff so we just start it up like that and just direct connect it again. And as you can see this world now appears. So that's how you do that and hope you in and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!